welcome back to my channel and today we will be learning some sewing actually we'll be learning some strapless which you can call it contour and you can call it corset so this is actually what i'm talking about this is the strapless i'm talking about you can be called a uh, corset it can be called strapless it can be called tube and this is the process of making it uh, we used uh, the regular bodice pattern and then you get that's how you get your pattern for this design i know there are so many youtube videos that um, i've explained this side and i've already made my own patterns i've already made my own patterns but if you want me to make a video on how to make these patterns i will do that next time you can give me a comment below so i can know if i should do it or not and this is the pants the pants pattern because i'm making a tube top and a pant so i've already made all of my patterns all i need to do is to cut out the um muslin i use this muslin on my mannequin in school and i found out that my pattern the pattern that i used to cut the muslin is a little big is a little loose so i need to adjust the pattern that's what i'm doing right now so i'm trying to cut out another pattern and then i'll reduce i'll do all the adjustment that i need to do i've already done it on the muslin by marking them by marking i put it on the it's like draping i put the um muslin on my um on my mannequin and i i was able to see all the loose parts the loose areas so i used my um visible pencil it's not invisible although it's uh, called I'll let you know later on if i remember that you can wash off after um doing your pattern so this is about how much i need to cut out of my pat that's why i'm making a new pattern if you want a clean job you just got to make it right so that's what i'm doing right now so these are my new patterns and um i'm going to measure this i'm using this ruler to measure about how much i need to take off from my um from my new pattern so that's what i'm doing right now so i need about three quarter I need about three quarter out of this side so which I've done that's what I've done here I've already rolled that out with a pencil and on this side as well remember it's like this so on this side I need to take out about a quarter inch about a quarter inch so I've already taken that out on this side which is this side i need to take another quarter inch out about a quarter inch so i need to take out the quarter inch from this side so i'm gonna do the same with um the facing this is the facing the facing is right here and this is the back so this is the front pattern this is the back pattern and this is the facing that will be inside. Stop. Stop. Stop, Lizzie.
arranged the patterns on the fabric that I'm using. Um, this is the pant right now. And that's the pockets. If I'm going to be adding pockets. Uh, so this is called Imo. This is Imo and you can use it to um, hold your corset whenever you're sewing. It is very good to, you know, make it stable and, you know, be able to stand uh, very well. And after using the um, high mo on the on the actual fabric, you use it with the fabric. You use it to sew, you will sew it together with the fabric, and then you will use this. This is this is fusing a black fusing. So you're using this rough part, and you will um, iron this on your lining. So that makes it four materials for your um, old stuff. I have added the high mold to my actual fabric uh, so this is it and this would be my lining I actually wanted to make this my actual fabric before but I just thought no let me just use this as my lining this is the back it can be it can be reversed if I want to so I'll see how that comes out and don't forget to put your lining lining has been added to this is the iron on gum stay but it's not sticking on the fabric very well, but it doesn't matter. So at this point now, we're going to be using um, boning. We're going to be using this boning. We'll be adding it to the fabric. We'll be adding it to the fabric. But first of all, you need to iron it flat. Like it has to be straight before um, sewing it on this um, fabric. So let's go ahead and do that. This is it. After ironing it out, it becomes straight and you will measure it on the corset to know uh, the size that you will cut. And this applies to all the lines on all the uh, joined um, parts. So you, you will add uh, the boning onto them. You you can you uh, this, the, this kind of boning that I have is so on. We need to sew this on. All right. So right now I've already added the boning. If as you can see, it's been attached to the bodies to the corset. And now what I need to do is um fuse this. This will be the this will be the facing for the. You know the v the v shape neck the sirat neck so i'm gonna be attaching this i'll fuse it and then attach it to the bodies and then i'll sew on the uh the lining and i'll show you uh, uh so we are at the pant stage right now and i've done the darts i've done the darts and um it has a flap in front it's just gonna be a, like a baggy pant or like um a free pant and i'll advise if you really want to get a very good pattern making design please go on go watch dami's dimension on youtube she's got a perfect um pattern on pants i wanted to make uh the pant pattern but when I was going through YouTube, I found out Dami's dimension and oh lord, she had the perfect pant. So I'm going to show you the aftermath when I'm done uh, making the pant. This is how you sew a pant. You pick up um, the, the front and back. You had it to, uh, you join front and back 
and then front and back and after doing that you will turn this to the um, to the other side you turn it and then after turning it you put it inside you open this one you open the second one and then you put it inside let me do it hold on so after turning one of the legs that you joined you now put it inside the other one the other one must be on the wrong side of the pattern of the uh, fabric and the other the second one will be on the good side of the fabric this is how you then join uh, the crotch of the pants make sure you open uh, the seam line because you don't uh, you don't sew the seam line together you have to open them and then you sew this all the way up to here all the way you can see I put some um, lines um, so you sew all the way up and you sew this this one has to go all the way all the way up as well okay let me do that and I'll show you 